Let's do this bullshit again. And the alternative right. Universalism is critiqued heavily. Most of these criticisms are justified and even recommended. After all, universalism and universal ethics at times have caused us to value things incorrectly. There are several explanations for this, so full thals or thals people with a lot of Neanderthal genes, which sometimes they just have the seek foreheads, have a tendency to like univer dislike universalism. After all, it's an innate tendency for these primitive Thals to favor particularism, to favor those within the Dunbar unit, the limitation most people have of looking at maybe 100, 200, even 300 people is actually being people instead of an absurd economic unit of pseudo people. As a Dal, I also respect the Dunbar unit. To quote every modern rapper, you gotta keep your circle small. Keep in mind that it is both easy and practical to make articulate arguments using universal morality. Not every ideal response is a universal response, though. People are different, but people aren't that different or that unique. A categorical imperative, which is a universal method of explaining morality, can explain why Thing like practicing anal sex can be immoral. After all, if everybody practiced that, there'd be a lot of disease. But it can't explain all the intricacies of foreign policy. After all, if everyone decided to keep a I'd say, hmm, isolationist or neutral foreign policy. Yes, here in the West, and even over there in the East, things would be a lot nicer. There'd be a lot less issues. Yet, we also have to consider the consequences for places like Northern Africa or Egypt, where most of those people are surviving because of us, because of the food that we give to them. And if that food, which by the way is genetically modified, unfortunately, and it has to be for us to give them that level of quantity, if we stop doing that, most of those people would starve. Particular morality completes all the intricacies, but it is more hands-on and less practical. It's more practical to apply universal morality. And I find it hilarious that the modern Brahmin left, Brahmin, Judeo-Christian, yes I'm using the term Judeo-Christian because it actually applies in this case, neocon Christianity, a lot of them only use universal ethics for stuff that they like. Universal rights. Human rights, actually. But they do not apply it fully for the betterment of everyone. They only apply it for the stuff that they like, which oftentimes can lead to universal immorality and complexities and complications. And this lets me realize that rights cannot heavily be applied universally. Rights can only be stratified to people that have the most agency and then brought back down. It has to be centralized, it has to work top-bottom, this is the nature of how it works. And through that 
centralization spontaneous order can form and it works best through that matter through that manner and methodology and of course I'm not talking about things economically or economically because we all know that communism doesn't work but in terms of the privilege we talk about nowadays yeah anyways this is Mr. Wonka 7 and you can have a good day I gotta go no I don't <laughs>